and we're live. Let's do this. Uh, having a few moustache issues today, folks, so bear with me. Give me something a little bit different on the show today. At the end of the show, I'm going to have a hooter. I'm going to have a hooter right here on the show. So stay tuned. Because this is the final. Monday morning live for the final time. Kia ora team. I'm Benny. And I'm here in the garden. You know, it's been a tough week. I've been here in the garden every single Monday for more than a year now. See, last week was supposed to be the anniversary show, the birthday celebration of Monday Morning Live. But I wasn't in any mood to celebrate because of the untimely passing of our cat, Sammy. See, what I learned last week is that grief accumulates. What I mean is, grief is like rain. Sometimes it rains lightly and sometimes it rains very heavily. But sooner or later the rain eases. It gives the water a chance to drain away. It gives the ground a chance to dry out and recover. So that should it rain again heavily in the future, there's no lasting damage. But when it just rains and rains and rains, before long, there's a flood. And what happened last week right here on the show was a flood. A flood of emotion and a flood of accumulated grief. See, it was only two weeks before Sammy passed away mm -hmm. that a guy that, he was like my granddad, passed away. Shout out to Renee. It was only a few months before that that my uncle passed away. And it was only a few months before that that one of my heroes, Bray Wyatt, passed away. And so what happened last week was a flood. A flood of emotion and accumulated grief. All these, all these things, they all hurt. But one thing's for sure, it hurts a little bit less today than it did yesterday. And I'm hopeful that tomorrow it'll hurt just a little bit less than it does today. Did that make sense? I think so. Either way, eventually the rain eases and life goes on. You know, if it wasn't for the fact that last week was the anniversary show, the, the birthday celebration of Monday Morning Live, I probably wouldn't have done the show, and that would have been it. But because I wanted to be able to say that I did the show live every single Monday morning for a full year, I wouldn't have done it. That's why I did the show last week. And that's why this week I sort of tossed and turned and gone back and forth as to whether or not I should continue. The kids knew something was up yesterday. Normally I go to the farmer's market every Sunday morning. Every Sunday afternoon, I like to watch the opening of Saturday Night Live, which is a big inspiration for Monday Morning Live. And as I get ready for watch, uh, to watch the show, the opening of the show, I usually write material for today's show. I write monologues, I write little poems, little skits, jokes, if you will, jokes. <laughs> But yesterday I wasn't doing any writing because I wasn't sure if I was going to continue. You see, I first started doing this show for fairly selfish reasons. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Never underestimate the value of water. So I started doing the show because I wanted to draw up support for my YouTube channel, which is Grow With Bennies. It's over 250 different films that I've made now for, for YouTube. 
but I wanted to be able to do live YouTube episodes. And so I started doing live Facebook episodes and shamelessly plugging my YouTube show. Also, it was a little bit selfish because a while back I filmed a series called The Grow Off, which was a sunflower growing competition that I did sort of in real time. Several different episodes, several different characters, they all grew the sunflowers in different ways. When it came to film the final of The Grow Off, I'll never forget the rush that I got. I had five different characters to perform as, by well, myself and four others. So I had five different outfits, five different sets of lines, I had all my blocking worked out, wherever I was going to stand, and I got to, to the point where I was about to start filming, and I realised that I only had one shot at it, because if I stuffed it up, there's no way I could fix it in post-production. And the rush that I got, it was like performing live. And that rush is something that I fear may have left me. The kids came out yesterday and saw me there sitting, not doing any writing. Daddy, why aren't you doing your writing for the show? I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to continue. <clears throat> and Corbin, my seven-year-old son, said it best. He said, wait, what? You're not going to do the show? I said, yeah, I'm thinking of, stop of ending the show. And he said, but what about the people? I said, what do you mean? He said, what about all the people that enjoy watching your show? And that's when I knew it. I would no longer be doing this show for myself. I'd be doing it for the people. Each and every one of you, thank you so much for your support. But it's time to end the show. It's time to end it's time to put an end to doing the show for me. I'm now doing the show for the people. And to celebrate, I'm going to have a hooter right here on the show. There it is. <laughs> a ceramic owl from my garden. See, it goes hoot, so it's a hooter. You thought of something else, didn't you? Anyway team, I'm Benny. I'm here in the garden as I will be every Monday morning for Monday Morning Live. You can catch me every Sunday morning at the Marlborough Farmers Market. You can see me whenever you want on my YouTube channel, which is Grow With Bennies. And I'll see you each and every Monday here in the garden.